Um, I know that a lot of people run like CenturyLink or whatever across the country and they're, they actually just completely die for a lot of places. Even here in town, they've completely died. But we're RISP, instead of just completely dying, it just went up and down, up and down, up and down. I think I counted eight times throughout our first service, even before that. I think I spent about three hours trying to troubleshoot, finally figured out that it was the ISP and then uh, was able to get in finally and program it. And thankfully, right at the time where it started, it came up in time for the encoder to start, started streaming and I never got an alert that it was unhappy, which was pretty incredible judging by the fact that I was getting texts from all of my, uh, all the other staff saying, um, we can't access the internet. Like, you are correct. After the service ended, I realized I was like, holy crap, this literally would not have happened if I didn't have this piece of hardware and the service at all, let alone even the free broadcasts. Because I just pulled the embed code off of the first service, which I knew went just fine, and just let that rebroadcast every time. I was like, okay, that's a pretty big selling point for me. I told our executive pastor, and he's like, man, live stream worked really well today. I'm like, yeah, literally for one reason. It's one of those things where you butt your head against the wall, trying to figure out why you can't get online, and then you realize it's a bigger issue. You're like, Okay, so how are we making today happen? It's a fun time because it's, it forces you to get creative and thankfully for once I didn't actually have to get creative with one platform that made me happy.